Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all glory, and all honor be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Hagorash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who rule well. Salutations to the hopefully elect out there pushing his word of truth, sincerity, and indeed, as your brother Kapat from the great millstone Chicago branch. Coming at you with another quick, Lord willing, edifying lesson. And, um, just wanted to give some exhortation out there, you know, as we come into these perilous times, those that have been operating in the fear of the Lord, man, we ain't got nothing to worry about. All right. This is the time where in the true believers, the hearers and doers of the word of the word, Salakia, uh, shall be exalted, man. All right. Because the things that are coming, these things are not meant for the righteous. However, the righteous, hey, we got to weather the storm, man. All right, all the judgment that is set to hit the earth, all right, it's not pinpointed at us to destroy us, but it's for our salvation, but shit, we gotta experience it, and we getting ready to see some wild, bugged out shit. So, you know, let's not be uh, soon uh, uh, stirred up or shaken by these things, you know? We have to maintain our faith and be unmovable, all right? Matter of fact, I'm going to get that real quick because we weren't appointed to wrath. All right. Hold on one second. That's just the spirit. I didn't mean to get that. This is uh, the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 9. For the Most High has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, man. See, so if you were woken up, all right, the Lord didn't appoint you to wrath. The Lord didn't wake you up just to destroy you. All right, even though that is the lot for a very few. All right, but you weren't woken up in this truth just to be destroyed. Especially if you're trying to seek that which is well pleasing unto you. How about Shimei Shai, man? Okay? No, you were appointed and woken up for wrath, man. Salakia, not for wrath, Salakia, but for salvation. Okay? But in your salvation, you're going to see the destruction. You're going to live through the destruction, man. Okay? But this lesson is not. Oh, thank you. I'm good, man. But this lesson is not uh, geared towards that, man. All right, this lesson was inspired by this precept. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 40 and verse nine. Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked and for their sakes, the flood came, okay? So like I said, the judgment that's hit, these things were created for the wicked. All right, it wasn't for the righteous to have to uh, uh, be hit with. However, us striving to be the righteous and hopefully elect, <laughs> we gonna have to walk through this shit. All right, and it's gonna be some wild shit. And just referring back to the flood, all right, when Noah was prophesying of this great event, there was a lot of unbelief. There was a lot of scoffing, man. But what happened, it began to rain and then it didn't stop raining. And then it kept raining and then it kept raining. So in the midst of this event, what you think happened? Chaos ensued. When people saw that, man, this mysterious raindrops coming out the sky, they started to bug out, man. All right. And then when they noticed that it kept raining and it didn't stop raining. All right. And then, hey, man, land, uh, uh, you know, destruction ensued, man. You better believe people bugged out, man. You better believe people were uh, uh, killing each other with the sword. All right, you better believe there was famine. You better believe people were rushing uh, food markets wherever they sold food at to grab up food and shit. All right, you better believe all types of tribulation was happening, man. All right, like I said, friends killing friends. All right, or Slaki, as the scriptures say, friends killing friends, city turning upon city. All right, it was all out calamities. These same things are getting ready to happen. So it's very imperative that shit, we got to stay our ass in this ark, man. All right, and what is this spiritual arc? It's the fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, and the performing of his word, man. All right, the performance of what he said do. Keeping the faith, presenting your body a living sacrifice, okay? Doing what is required of you, okay? As a good servant, all right? That's how you stay inside this spiritual arc, man. And like I said, it's imperative we stay our ass in this arc. Cause shit is about to get real. It's about to start raining again. 
All right, and the grand finale of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's judgment is he's gonna rain fire upon this place here in America as well as other places, all right, who that judgment is ordained for, man. But before the Lord rains fire on this place, hey, he's gonna rain all type of calamities and destruction. Like the scripture has said, death, bloodshed, tribulation, the scourge, all right? All these things are gonna come into place. And guess what? The people are gonna bug out yet again, man. All right? So we just gotta endure that. But these things, hey, we weren't appointed for these things. The Lord ain't bring us this far just to fuck us up, just to leave us down here bogus when all hell is breaking loose, man. No, sir. This is the book of Psalm 27 and 5. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. See that? In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. And who is that rock? Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Yahweh Shai is our rock. Okay? And we're going to be what? Set in safety. Like the scriptures say in Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. Okay? That's his secret pavilion. All right? This truth and the performance of this truth. The giving, uh, uh, you know, the setting up your body as a living sacrifice. The mortifying the deeds of the flesh. The walking in the faith. Walking in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Loving your brother as you would uh, uh, love uh, yourself. Okay? That's the ark. That's the spiritual ark. Laying up good works for yourself in the time of trouble. Doing these epistles. Doing these exhortations. Okay? Tithing. Alms. Okay? Looking out. All these things, man, are how... It, hey, that's how you keep your foots inside the ark. And we got to keep our ass inside this spiritual ark, man. All right? Because it's getting ready to rain. So, shit, what that song say? Float. Float on. <laughs> we got to float on, baby. All right? This ain't the time to be, to, to be getting shaky. All right? This ain't the time to be getting uh, uh, scared, to be getting doubtful. Hell no, nah, man. Continuing the things which you have uh, uh, learned, man. Continue doing these good works because there is a reward at the end of the day. So, uh, Lord willing, I hope this is edifying. All praises, glory, and honor be unto you. How about Shimmy? How about Shai? Shalom and a Baba Ball.